Hello and welcome back. In the last part, we UV unwrapped everything. In this part, we're going to start making the shader. So, let's go back to shading. Well, not back, but let's go to shading. And in shading, we want to select the head. We want to make new. We want to name this material Sonic Skin. And actually, I, I might have already made that uh, shader. So, you know, regard, disregard that or whatever. Whatever you want to do. So, what we can do now is in our shader here select a principle and delete it we want to add a shader diffuse all right so before we go any further i want to explain exactly what it is we're doing i am making a tune shader based off of this guy lighting boy studio this guy right here um, this tutorial series tune shader tutorial uh, I encourage all of you to go through and follow this tutorial series. All right. The reason being is because you can do, you, you can learn how to make so many do cool tune shading effects uh, through his shader, uh, and he also has a for purchase uh, shader that does all of this stuff automatically for you. Uh, I will uh, pull it up on the screen somewhere <laughs> in post, but you can get that add-on I forget how much it is but I it, it's worth it support him go support this guy go support lighting boy studio go buy the stuff go do it uh, but I'm gonna show you just basically what he does in this first part you know follow him for the rest of this uh, and um, actually after I show you how to make this first part like I said I I want you to follow this right here uh, after this I'm gonna go in on my own time and you know use the shader that I bought but it's essentially the same thing and I want to show you how you can make it here, you know, just for intro beginner purposes. <clears throat> so, what we do is uh, we need a few things. So what we're what what we're attempting to do is make a flat tune shader. Like I said, we're we're tune shading the Sonic. So what we want to do is we want to make a color. We're gonna go to vector or a converter rather and go to shader to RGB and then we want to converter color ramp so the I believe the shader to RGB goes here this goes into the color ramp and the color goes here if I remember correctly yes so basically the shader to RGB takes the shader information and turns it to red, green, and blue data. Uh, the red and blue green data is then fed into the color ramp where we can adjust these uh, settings here. And then we put the color ramp into the surface data here. All right. So I actually took some, uh, not necessarily notes, but I have steps to follow. So, step one is to get all this connected up and uh, add this multiply node down here. So, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, what we do here is select all three of these, hit Control G to make it a group. Uh, you can go hit N. We can re oh yeah, so hit, if you hit tab, we can rename this group. Shader. Shader. Okay. Uh, I misspelled that, whatever. Select it and tab back into it so you can keep editing. Uh, now what we're going to do uh, is add a color mix RGB, change this to multiply, and connect our color ramp to it. So, let's do that. Let's connect, oops, let's connect the color ramp to this color, and we want to grab our group input and drag that into this color here. So this is going to be our base color. Uh, so we're going to have to go into our node here, double click that, 
name it base color. There we go. Uh, so this is this is what we're gonna plug our texture into, I believe. Uh, so uh, now what we want to do is see what the next step is. So that was so we're on step three now. Uh, so we're still so we're gonna uh, add a lighten uh, and then add it to the group input there. So I'm gonna shift D to duplicate this. Lighten. And we're going to drag this into the color input instead. And we're gonna move this in between there. And this into there. Factor should be one. If I'm remembering correctly. Yes. So basically, this second color here is the shadow color. So if I make this flat like a tune. do that with the color ramp here and you can change the base color to blue something sonic blue something like this it's what he kind of looks like in the comics anyway and then we can change the shadow color you know we can make it darker we can make it lighter non-existent or you know something like this I think this is a nice shadow color so that's good so you see what we're doing though we're, we're building out a tune shader and what's cool about this tune shader is we'll be able to use uh, the lights in the scene with it. Um, as you can see, the light is affecting the tune shading, which is, of course, what you want. Uh, but we're going to do a few more slightly more complicated steps. So let's go back here. My tab, so I have to tab back in. All right. So what is the next step? Right, so next thing we want to do is we want to make lights. So we want to turn this into a sunlight. Uh, scroll down here, you want to call this light key light R. Basically what we're doing is we're separating these lights. Uh, we're going to give this a straight up tip. We're separating these lights out to RGB colors. So that's red. Then we'll shift D to duplicate that. And this will be uh, the fill light, which is G. So green. So fill light will be somewhere over here. Fill light, and we'll make this green, and then duplicate that again. We'll call this light the backlight, and we'll make this color blue. Um, and you definitely want to highlight the uh, the color of each uh, of each light so I just put a letter behind there the guy does in the tutorial as well uh, also just want to move these closer <coughs> so tab back into here uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to separate the color channel of these guys into uh, separate uh, channels uh, to be used. Uh, so let's go to step four. And next step is to shift A, converter. Separate RGB, bring that there, 
make sure that's connected to the red. We want to add another multiply node, I believe. Yes, we want to add another multiply node. Shift D, move that in between there. Bring this in here. And we want to call that the key light, I believe. Yep. So, now what we do is we basically want to uh, layer the rest of these colors on top to get uh, the rest of our effects. It'll all come together at the end. So, what you want to do is you want to duplicate these and you want to duplicate these. Uh, you can put these in frames with shift A, layout, frame. You can add a frame here and grab these three here. Bring those. It won't let me. Go into the frame. You're making me a liar, Blender. There we go. So you can bring them into a frame uh, and then, uh, you know. You can group them that way, and then you can name the frames. So if you go to item, label, we'll call this key light. Or, ugh, ugh, ugh. Let me let me at least attempt to spell. And then you can duplicate frames, put crap in them. We'll name this uh, backlight, and we'll name this fill light. All right. Now, how you layer them is you add another color mix. We're gonna make this add. Let me zoom in here. Add factor of one. Plug it in here, plug that into there. And then you want to shift D, duplicate that, and plug the backlight into that. Okay. Uh, and uh, also, haha, <laughs> don't forget to bring the green input into the that color ramp and bring the blue input into this color ramp okay now everything is working so uh, we have our colors oh yeah and the last thing is we want to be able to edit the color over there so uh, make sure you drag these inputs into the color 2 slot so I'm going from this gray slot down here moving it up and bring it into the color too. And then we can name those. So we can call that one, uh, that's the fill light. And then that second one was the back light. Uh, and we can probably add the word color behind it because consistency. All right. So, now we can control these lights here. So this is the key light. This is just the, you know the main light source, all right? Main light source here. Okay. This is the backlight. So this will be highlights. So we can actually change that to like I don't know one, if that. This is the fill light, this doesn't need to be that strong. This is definitely like a 0.5-ish type light. Maybe 0.9. Yeah, um, one. Well, okay. Two? It's not really. Oh, ha ha ha. Let's go one there and then let's try two. Okay, let's try one. That's all right. Let's just go back to two. Two is fine. No, it's not. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. That's what I like. Okay. And so, you know, you can 
can move this. Oh, this is the backlight here. So make sure that the backlight is like somewhere, obviously, in the back. Just for uh, your own sake, it'll be less confusing that way. And now what's cool about this little setup here <clears throat> is we can go, let's tab in here, let's go to our, let's go to our backlight, or our fill light, we could do, let's do, this is the fill light, right? Uh, no, this is the backlight. That's not good, let's see here. Fill light color, so uh, one way to check to make sure you did everything right. Change the shadow color to black. Make sure that the shadows are following the key light. And change the key light color. Well, you no, know, actually, keep the key light color alone. Change the fill light because you want your fill to be okay. Back, so back, we back, made our back, back. our rim light the fill. We don't want that. So the fill light can actually be over here. And then we want to make sure that the back light is back here. Doing this thing, you might want to increases so it shows up yeah there you go make that like two and then we can decrease the size there you go all right so yeah <clears throat> you want to make sure that the lights are actually acting like they're supposed to uh, so that's the backlight or the fill light no this is the backlight i'm sorry i keep okay i'm gonna confuse you people and you can hate me and i'm sorry <laughs> that's that's the backlight. I promise. I promise I'm correct. Yeah, that's the backlight. So, again, what you can do, what's cool about this, you can go to our backlight here, or uh, actually, we don't want to go, we want to go to the fill light, and we want to smoothify it. That's right, you heard me. Smoothify. Look at that. And now. We can, of course, reduce its strength. Uh, and there we go. We got a a nice, like, fill light to go with it. So we can turn that from all the way black. And we could probably increase the strength to, like, three of our key light here and yeah so you can just fiddle with these you know uh, just turn strength down a bit Look at that. now we're getting something nice yeah you know just to have a nice little fade effect right there uh, and then maybe we can go to the fill light color I don't know, maybe make it blue. But dark. Well, because we can't make it black. Alright, this is this blue is fine. Let's make it a different color. Yeah, let's make it uh let's make it uh violet. Yeah. So uh you know, there you go. That's our that's our tune shader. Uh, so let's see what we're looking like for time. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> uh, we're just going to basically add this shader to the rest of them. Uh, so let's go to layout here, and let's go back to our shading mode here. Okay, and let's just go and do that. So, you want to select, actually, <laughs> Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to texture him correctly <laughs> with uh, texture painting. So we'll actually take care of that in the next tutorial. This is just a tutorial to make the shader that we're going to put our texture on top of. So I will see you guys then.